In this session, I will be teaching you how to evaluate a piecewise function. Now, let's define first what a piecewise function is. A piecewise function is a function that is composed of two or more subfunctions with a specified domain. So, how are we going to evaluate a piecewise function? Say, for example, g of x is equal to x squared plus 1 if x is greater than negative 1. And 2x minus 5 if x is less than or equal to negative 1. So we have two subfunctions, and these are x squared plus 1 and 2x minus 5. The specified domain for x squared plus 1 is x is greater than negative 1. And what are these greater than negative 1? We have, of course, 0, 1, and all the positives. For the second subfunction, we have 2x minus 5. The specified domain is x is less than or equal to negative 1. So meaning to say negative 1 is included here. And what are these integers less than negative 1? We have negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and all the negatives. What if you are asked to evaluate g of negative 1. So we will first identify where does negative 1 fall. Does it fall under this specified domain or this specified domain? We know that negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 1. Therefore, we will be using 2x minus 5. What is the next step here? You know already how to evaluate a simple function. You just replace all the x's by the number here, and that is negative 1, so that is 2 multiplied by negative 1 minus 5, so this is equal to negative 2 minus 5. So therefore, g of negative 1 is equal to negative 7. What about if we have g of negative 5? Where does negative 5 fall? Does it fall under this specified domain or this one? So obviously negative 5 is less than negative 1. So therefore still we will be using 2x minus 5. This is now g of negative 5 is equal to 2. Replace x by this one. That is negative 5 minus 5. This is now equal to g of negative 5, negative 10 minus 5, which is equal to negative 15. For g of 0, let's say for example g of 0. How are we going to evaluate this? What specified domain are we going to use? We know that 0 is greater than negative 1. Therefore, we will be using x squared plus 1. Replacing x by 0, that will be g of 0. So we have 0 squared plus 1. We know what 0 squared is. That is 0 plus 1. So g of 0 is equal to 1. That's it. Let's take example number 2. The given piecewise function is f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 if x is greater than 0 and 2x minus 3 if x is less than or equal to 0. Again, the two subfunctions are x squared plus 3 and 2x minus 3. The specified domain for x squared plus 3 is x is greater than 0. What are these numbers greater than 0? We have 1, 2, 3, all positives. And then the specified domain for the subfunction 2x minus 3 is 
x is less than or equal to 0. So, meaning 0 is included. And numbers or integers that are less than 0 are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, or all the negatives. So, we are asked to find or evaluate f of 4 and f of negative 2. Take note that we will be choosing which of these two functions are we going to use. By, of course, identifying where does this 4 fall? Does it fall under x is greater than 0? Or does it fall under x is less than or equal to 0? We know that 4 is greater than 0. So therefore, we will be using x squared plus 3. So that is x squared plus 3. Again, an evaluating function, you will just replace all the x's by 4. So that is 4 squared plus 3. And what is 4 squared plus 3? 4 squared is 16. That is 4 times 4 plus 3. So therefore, f of 4 is equal to 19. What about if we have f of negative 2? Where does negative 2 fall? We know that that one is less than or equal to 0. We'll just get the subfunction 2x minus 3. So again, how to evaluate function? You will just replace x by negative 2. So this is equal now to negative 4 minus 3. What is negative 4 minus 3? Negative 4 minus 3 is equal to negative 7. What about if I will be adding one more? Let's say for example, f of 0. Where does f of 0 fall? What is 0, by the way? 0 is less than or equal to 0. So therefore, we will be using this one. So that is equal to 2x minus 3. So this is equal to 2. f of 0, therefore, is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So that is f of 0. Okay? Okay. 